another test. Um, change the frame rate. Let's go to the desktop here. <clears throat> change the frame rate to 20 frames per second because I thought 15 wasn't enough. Seemed like the audio was actually uh, ahead of the video. But then I went back and watched that video that I was talking about, waving, <laughs> and it didn't seem that way at all. I don't know what's going on. It does take it a bit to switch from, you know, <clears throat> the view. I guess because, okay, the that delay, yeah, I forgot about something very important. The, okay, so the camera streaming over the network, uh, then going to the player, you know, streaming over the network. I'm picking it up on my computer through the player, and then OBS is picking it up. But while I'm looking doing a desktop recording of the player though so but anyway there is a delay here i gotta make sure i have it the way i should have it there is a delay <clears throat> much more this way than if you're just uh, um, and when you switch i notice when i switch from obs studio over to the player put it in you know desktop mode switch to the player it takes a bit i can still see what it looked like before i went over there you know especially if i'm over well like i say i'm here <clears throat> and then I switch over, you still get that screen for a bit, a good, good long while. <coughs> so, <clears throat> and I don't know if that, you know, doing less frames per second will help. We'll make that less. Put a <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to start having all kinds of coughing fits right when I get ready to, by the time I get ready to... <coughs> do my video but um, I was thinking this was going to work better than using a phone camera but it is you know sharper but when you turn the <clears throat> when you have to stay this far back because I just I can't have the camera setting if I put it over here on the desk and it's too bad of an angle to you know it just looks even worse than on the phone because of the uh, fisheye lens on the camera luckily since it's bigger since the, the image from the camera is bigger than my screen, I, and this this app, it's weird because it, it fits to the width but not the up and down. So anyway, but I'm paging it up and down until I get it, you know. It's more in the center of the camera. The way I, the way I, put, the, uh, I put the monitor in the center and then I can just, you know, do center... Set, I can put it where I want <clears throat> to kind of cut off the uh, fisheye, you know, not have the monitor in the fisheye area is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, but I am worried about, well, it doesn't seem to be hurting the system to have that set there running. I, I don't know how long you can run it. And seeing that showed that for a minute. <clears throat> so, uh, it, it does confuse the heck out of you because the camera... Yes, the camera's seeing whatever the monitor does, but the stream is only going to see what the camera sees when I'm on this player. And that's not how I've got everything else set up, you know. I can just, uh, I know, say it when I'm using the phone, I know that if it's pointed at me, well, you're always going to see me when I click on the phone. If you, you know, you see that, you're always going to see that. So if I point up something at the monitor normally, then if I click on that, then you see the monitor. You know, I still have to remind myself of that sometimes, but gotten pretty used to that. But anyway, let's go back to the desktop again. We'll go there, there, and there. That time it was a little quicker, it seemed. Let's see what happens if I wave. No, it's still not quite as delayed as it has been. I guess what I better do is <clears throat> I was worried about going 15 frames per second. I was afraid it would skip so much of what's happening that uh, it would be worse you know it would it's end up being worse than using the, the phones for sure i don't know about worse than what it is right now let's switch it okay now i'm going to go over here i think you can do it while it's streaming i'll try it i'm going to switch it to 15 frames per second and then i'm going to apply it i've been doing screenshots so i'll be able to look back and that, that, I don't think it requires a reboot. That's what I'm saying. Let's see if there's a noticeable difference. 
seemed like it. It didn't take as long for that, you know, that other to go away. And I and I put I was up here talking, but see, I'm frozen up. But uh, <clears throat> it actually see kind of worse. It's really hard to tell. It can be, you know. Uh, It, well, it'll get jerky. That's the main thing, you know. I notice when there's not enough frames, is it'll, every, the movements are jerky. But what I'm seeing is uh, still a heck of a lot of delay. I suppose I could still do less frames and see if it works. In this case, since I'm pointing at the monitor, there's one thing I figured out that's completely counterintuitive. I was using back when I, before I. I I think before LBS Studio even came out, uh, I'm gonna get off this screen now. Um, it uh, before it even came out, I was using one called uh, Record My Desktop Linux app, and uh, I always called it GTK Record. There's two uh, GUI interfaces for it: uh, GTK, GTK built-in GTK, and the other one's not Python. Is it? No, it's not Python. It's something else. Something with a P. Anyway, I was using uh, GTK, and uh, it, they, they, each one were just slightly different in like the settings, how the settings looked, and how you could do things. And so uh, I liked the GTK one. So, but at, at the first of me using it, I was used to using desktop recorders, you know, from Windows, and then some other ones in Linux. And this one, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to quit doing the kind of thing that's happening right now. And I kept trying to. I knew I wanted, you know, the standard frame rate in normal video is 30 frames per second. That's what it used to be, you know, back in those days especially. And uh, finally, anyway, it would never work. And uh, I would go up and down, up and down, and just play, experiment with it. That's what they told you to do on the page, you know. Just keep experimenting until it works for you. It depends on your process, you know, your system and what it can handle. And finally, somewhere I found something on their site on the, <laughs> it said, Go and I never went this low. It said go down to I think it was five, it's five frames per second. See if and that should work. And I never dreamed of going that low because that's backwards. You know, you're, uh, it should give you uh, a really choppy video. You know, it should be skipping uh, so many frames of what's actually going on. <clears throat> so uh, it worked perfect with the desktop video. Now there's see there was no camera. It's no camera. Like I'm not doing a camera point at the desktop. It's just a desktop video. So, I guess and I, so. That so that still doesn't make sense when you're using a camera to me. But I try anything. That's <laughs> what I'm learning. What I got out of that is just just try anything, you know, and see what happens if you if you're just stuck. <clears throat> so I'm gonna <clears throat> stop again and see what this looks like. And then maybe I will try anything. But right now I think 15 is the best. Although I noticed the other camera, well, the other camera, when you click on it to view it, the, um, it, it's noticeable. It can be noticeable. Sometimes it changes. So I guess it just depends on uh, the Wi Fi, you know, what's going on on the Wi Fi, how much traffic, and also uh, probably how long it's been running since its last reboot. I have it set to reboot every, I think it's every morning at 2 in the morning. <clears throat> automatically uh, because it's uh, you know it's it's running the it's running the web server so that you can connect to it and it's recording videos over time it sees movement <clears throat> and that makes it work hard so um, say if it was a win windy day it's going to record lots of videos you know so uh, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty good about not just recording every movement of the trees and everything as a matter of fact Usually every time I see one of its videos, it there's something moving like a car, a cat, a squirrel, a person, you know. I don't see it just, re, you know, sitting set, recording the trees waving and stuff. So it seems to be pretty good uh, motion detection. So anyway, <clears throat> that's the Seatronix cams, like the one that I've been testing here. This, that, this is one of them right here, the other new one that I haven't put up yet. But I thought I might use it to get a better video of my of my. Files and stuff, you know, of the server, but I don't know if this is going to work or not. 